Hello beautiful beings, welcome back to my channel Rising with Rachel. I'm Rachel and together we rise in talking about all things cosmic and consciousness. Today I want to talk to you about expectations. So as we all know, the universe is always talking to us through our external experiences. It's up to us to be able to be in a place of observer awareness where we are able to see exactly how the universe is using things in our everyday life in order to portray life lessons for us. You see, what I've been able to learn through my own experiences is that it's actually our expectations that set us up for failure. When we expect something is going to happen, an experience is going to go a certain way, somebody is going to do something, we are setting up an assumption. And when we assume something, that means we think there is going to be a definitive specific outcome of whatever experience. Then when that result does or does not happen, we feel a particular type of way about it. And what I've learned through the universe is that we need to let go of our expectations because one, our expectations actually create our next experience. For example, if you are expecting that something is going to go wrong, it is probably going to go wrong because that's where you are putting your energy towards. So what the universe has taught me that I'm here to share with you is to release our expectations because every next moment that exists for us is actually a blank slate. It is open for opportunity and could be an infinite of possibilities. But when we have assumptions, when we have expectations, which are assumptions that something is going to play out a specific way. It's like we are starting to paint the first stroke on a blank canvas and therefore set ourselves up for potential failure. Like for example, where I live, there's usually no parking spots. So well, last night I came home with the expectation that there was going to be no parking spots. I got home and there was not only one parking spot, there was multiple, I had options. And within the moment that I saw all of those parking spots available and open to me, I realized that I should have came home driving with the infinite wonder of maybe there will be a parking spot, Maybe there won't be. Either way, why wasn't I open to the potential of things being different, but instead was creating the next moment, the next scenario, creating a potential for there to be no parking spots. Walking around with the assumption that things were going to happen for the worse could have created a worse situation. But what the universe was showing me in that moment was to let go of my expectations and to walk around with a childlike wonder and awe for life at the infinite possibility that can happen. My favorite quote ever is, even the word impossible says I'm possible. Why is it that I created an assumption that there was going to be no parking spot based off of my past belief when in reality, even the word impossible says I'm possible, there could have been all the parking spots available and open to me, but I wasn't thinking that. I wasn't expecting that. And to be honest, I shouldn't have been expecting anything because it's our expectations that set us up for failure. If you expect that somebody is going to cheat on you because your last partner cheated on you, you are going to create scenarios and experiences where that door does open. In the same way, if you wake up in the morning and expect that you're going to have a good day, you're going to have a good day. However, it's not about the specifics. It's not not about the good or the bad that you are or are not expecting. The goal is to let go of it all. As humans, we are here to clear our vessels, to be empty vessels in order to allow universal source to flow through us, therefore receiving cosmic downloads and wisdom of how to create our next moments of bliss. And that requires staying in flow and letting things go. Okay, Dr. Seuss. But you see what happens when we have expectations of any kind is that with these assumptions, we attach our emotions. Because if we expect that there is going to be no parking spots, I'm already paying into this energetic piggy bank of a negative feeling in my stomach, thinking about risking a parking ticket every single night. If I am expecting that somebody texts me when they get home after our first date, then I am paying into this energetic piggy bank, feeling validated and seen by this person. And if they don't do that when they get home, then I'm feeling upset and some type of way about myself and wondering, was it me? When we have expectations and assumptions, we attach our emotions and that's what sets us up for failure. Because when things do not go the way that we anticipated, assumed and expected, then we are the ones feeling a type of way about it. So do you see what's happening here? We create our own obstacles with our minds before they even happen. We are painting the first stroke on this 
blank canvas when we don't even know the picture that the universe is trying to paint. So why don't we just let the universe paint the first stroke? Why don't we just walk around like the blank vessels that we are supposed to be with this childlike wonder of the infinite possibilities that can happen and allow ourselves to be surprised? Whether what happens is good or bad, why don't we allow ourselves to sit in the infinite possibility of what can happen? Because miracles happen every day and even the things that are bad from a human perspective are leading us to something good. So why is it that we try to constantly figure things out and feel like we have the answers better than the universe does? Why don't we just let things happen and play out in the way that they're supposed to, in the way that the universe is going to divinely orchestrate them? Life actually flows so much smoother when you are able to remove yourself from your emotions that are tied to your assumptions and your expectations. When you stop scripting the next future moments by your assumptions and beliefs from what has happened from the past. This is the importance of being present in the now moment because when you're here in the now, when you're not attached to the past or the future and you're just allowing what happens to happen, then you can move forth with a clear mind of what's going on in this very moment because nothing else matters. When you remove yourself from your expectations and your assumptions and your emotional attachments to those things, you more times than not end up being extremely shocked by how well things go. Because again, for example, I could have driven home yesterday without the slightest thought in the world that I was not going to find a parking spot. I could have thought nothing about it. I could have just been thinking about driving and being on the road and being present in that moment, listening to the song I was listening to. Instead, I was sitting here expecting that there was not going to be a parking spot. And the second that I saw infinite, I was so stunned that I was like, silly me. Why am I expecting anything? Because I was just totally wowed. And I'm sure you can think about a handful of experiences in your life where things went completely not in the way that you thought they were going to go, whether that's good or bad. And you are sat there surprised, stunned beyond belief. And again, even the bad things have led you to good experiences, even if that's not how you first frame them in your mind. <laughs> See, how you create your reality is almost like the action of walking. Every time that you lift your foot and go to put down your next step, you are creating your very next moment that opens up a potential of infinite timelines for you to live out. So when you lift up your foot and you have expectations that things are going to go bad, you put that foot down, that's exactly how things are gonna go. If you lift your foot up and have no expectations and put your foot down, you have no idea how things can play out for you and how good it can get. You have to declare to the universe, universe, show me how good it gets. When you allow yourself to be attached to your past beliefs and think that what has happened in the past is going to happen in the future and you start creating these assumptions and expectations, you are creating your very next moments with that energy from the past, which yes, is going to allow those things to carry over. You know those days when you wake up and you stub your toe and then just everything else in the day goes wrong. You have a bad day at work, you get a parking ticket, you get in a fight with a friend, you lose 20 bucks cash, things just suck. We've all had those days, okay? It's because you are within your thoughts assuming that the very next moment is going to be bad. I know what you're thinking in those moments. It's just frustration all over the place. You're letting your energy leak. How could things get any worse? Of course, this is annoying. This sucks. It's always happened to me, blah, 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 victim complex. But when you remove your assumption, when you remove your attachment, when you say, you know what? A lot of really annoying things have happened to me today, but what if they could get better? What if I allow myself to be an open vessel to infinite potential that things can turn around? And I'm not attaching myself to the fact that they will turn around. In the same way, I'm not attaching myself to the way things have been going pretty annoyingly. I'm removing myself from the judgment of what's going on, from the emotions that are involved right now. And I'm gonna say, you know what? Universe, my very next moment is a blank slate. Show me how good it gets. And that's when you see things turn around. That's when you find the $20 cash that you lost. That's when you make up with the friend that you were fighting with. That's when a random stranger compliments you and tells you how beautiful you are and it makes your entire day because you weren't feeling too great about yourself. That's when the good things start to happen is when you allow yourself to be this open vessel and have no expectations for how the very next moment, let alone specific experiences or interactions with people are going to go. Obviously, it's important to release the expectations that things are going to go bad, but it's also important to release the expectations that things are going to go good because how do you know what's best for you? 
You don't think the universe knows what's best for you. What you think is the best for you is only at what your mental capacity could even fathom. But the universe, God's source energy that we all are is multidimensional, is this omnipresent being and energy that knows everything about everything. It knows what's better for you than you could possibly even imagine. So why don't you let yourself be open to that? Why do we as humans think that we know what's best for us and that things need to go this way in order for me to be happy? What if even your greatest expectations, the things that you assume and are emotionally attached to that you think are going to make you happy, what if those things don't even fulfill 127th of what the universe has in store for you? This is why it's so important to release your expectations, whether they're bad or good. Because the universe, God source energy, can see it all. It knows what's best for you. It knows what's most in alignment for you. And it's going to do everything to show you that. But it's up to you to let go of this grip you have, like you're holding on to a roller coaster going 1500 miles per hour on what you think life should be like. It's asking you to let go so that it can show you just how good it gets. Let go and let God, as they say. If you think about yourself in your life as a cup, how is it that the universe can fill your cup if it's already filled with soil, if it's filled with dirt, if it's filled with all this heavy matter? It can't pour water into your cup. It can't give you this overflowing abundance if your cup is already stuffed with all this matter. That's why we need to open ourselves, empty our vessels, release our expectations, our belief systems from the past, our assumptions, our emotional attachments, so that we can become this empty cup and let the universe fill us up with all of these abundant and miraculous experiences experiences. Universe has no room to put new toys in your toy box if your toy box is already full with broken Barbies. So why don't we get rid of those broken toys? The Barbie who's got her hair half chopped off, the one that's missing a leg and all the other things. Why don't we release those things, open our treasure chest up and allow the universe to fill us with new abundant toys. When you empty yourself and release your expectations, you are setting yourself up for success. And that also applies to other people. Because when you have expectations of other people, you are also setting them up for failure. Because if somebody doesn't behave in a certain way that you assume they are going to, or say things that you assume they are going to, you build some sort of emotional reaction to them when in reality, it was never their fault that they couldn't live to your expectations. They don't even know what it was. By releasing your expectations, you're cultivating a better relationship with yourself, other people, and the universe. So come on. It's time to let go. Pay attention to your own thoughts. Start to cultivate this observer awareness within yourself and ask yourself, see where it is that you set up expectations without even realizing. Do you expect somebody to text you when they get home? Do you expect your boss to notice when you're doing good things at your job and give you a pat on the back? Do you expect somebody to tag you in 17 photos on Instagram for your birthday? Do you expect to not find parking spots? Start cultivating the observer awareness, start catching yourself and allowing yourself to, in those moments, be an empty vessel and open yourself and your mind and your awareness to the infinite potential that the universe can bring forth to your doorstep. Allow yourself to be surprised and watch the miracles that the universe brings forth to your doorstep. And so it is.